Hello guys, welcome back to my channel English with Pooja. Today I have come with a new topic, the pot of gold. I will be telling a short summary of the play in English and if you prefer any other language then please mention in the comment section. Let's start this video and hope you guys like it. So let's start with the characters, the guardian spirit. He is also known as Lar Familiaris. The garden spirit speaks in the prologue and does not appear thereafter. Then next is Eucleo. He is the main character in the play. He is an old man and father to Phaedria. Next is Phaedria. She is Eucleo's daughter. She is also devoted servant to her household god. Staphyla. She is an old lady who acts as Eucleo's housekeeper and Eunomia. She is a woman of high status and a sister to Megadorus. Now we have Megadorus. He is a wealthy old man. Lyconidas. Lyconidas is the son of Eunomia. Congrio and Anthrax are hired for Phaedria's wedding for cooking. Strombilus is a slave for Megadorus and Lyconidas' servant is there but no name is provided in the play. And we have two flute girls which are not so important in the play. The play The Pot of Gold by Plotus has two plots. Main plot includes the tale of the discovery of a pot of gold by Eucleo and the subplot engages the love affair of Lyconidas and Phaedria. But the two plots have equal value for the dramatic development of the play. So they can be termed parallel plot lines. So before starting the summary of the play, let me introduce to the main character of the play, Eucleo. He is a poor miser man. He is so miser that whenever he goes to bed, he puts a bag over his mouth so he won't lose any breath while he is asleep. And he is so obsessed with him, himself or his body that he even collected the nail clippings after being cut. So one day, Lar Familiaris, the garden deity of the house, told Eucleo that he never pays respect to him and is really a miser person. But Lar Familiaris informed Eucleo about the pot of gold which was an asset of Eucleo's grandfather. Lar Familiaris gave the information about the pot of gold only for the sake of his daughter's marriage. Her name is Phaedria. Eucleo still acted as a miser person even after getting the pot of gold. He even after getting the pot of gold, Eucleo still remained a miser. He hid the secret from his own daughter and even suspected everyone in the town, even his own servant Staphyla. After getting the pot of gold, he became restless. His sleep of night had already gone away. He suspected everyone even his own maid servant and was filled with pain and anxiety for the pot of gold. Eucleo was a miser person as well as a terrible irresponsible father. He did not take care of his daughter properly. Now in the second plot the romance between Phaedria and Lyconidas develops and Phaedria becomes pregnant but Eucleo had no knowledge of this and this was only for his irresponsibility. Eucleo was so absorbed in the thought of the pot of gold that he failed to perform his duty towards his daughter. On the other hand, Eunomia forces Megadorus to marry someone as he was aging day by day. Therefore, Megadorus came to Eucleo with a proposal of marrying her daughter without taking any dowry and was also unaware about the pregnancy of Phaedria. But Eucleo suspected Megadorus and thought Megadorus was only interested in his pot of gold. Let me tell you one thing that Megadorus was a very rich person and was really willing to help him as he was poor. As Eucleo was hiding the truth about his pot of gold, his suspicious nature grew day by day and affected his mentality too. But then Eucleo accepted the proposal just because Megadorus was willing to marry without taking any dowry. Megadorus also announced that he would pay for the marriage ceremony for both the families. Still Eucleo was in suspicion. 
when everyone was preparing for the marriage he did not allow the two cooks congrio and anthrax to enter the house at the very beginning and even beats congrio for entering the house actually he was hiding the pot of gold underground inside one of his rooms of his house which he found it safe but later on during the preparation of ceremony he thought it was unsafe to keep the pot of gold in house so he shifted it to the shrine of faith after hearing the cry of a crow he again went to recheck the place and saw someone trying to dig the pot out and ultimately shifted it to the grove of silvanus but a servant of lyconides observed him doing so and thus stole it after euclio left that place after the servant had stolen it euclio out of suspicion came to check it again but it was too late because it was already stolen euclio became depressed at the loss of the gold then megadorus came to know about the pot of gold and asked lyconides to search for it meanwhile the servant of lyconides informed him that he wanted to get free from the slavery a person who has money can only talk such things thus lyconides got dubious and recovered the pot from the servant after recovering the pot of gold he handed it over to euclio but in return euclio gave him the permission to marry phaedria and gave the whole pot of gold as a dowry to him beforehand in the play lyconides had already confessed his feelings for phaedria and even about her pregnancy thus the drama ends with a happy marriage between lyconides and phaedria at the end of the play Euclio becomes a different person. He gave a golden coin to the slave who actually found that pot of gold and even gave that pot of gold to Lyconidas. Euclio was living a happy and tense free life before the wealth had entered his life, but after getting the pot of gold, his life became miserable. Thus ultimately his miserliness changed his true self to a kind and generous person so this is how the play the pot of gold ends here with an happy ending please do like share and subscribe my channel and help me to create more videos like this so that's the end of this video thanks for watching and stay tuned